Have you heard of Quranly? It's a habit building Quran app unlike anything you've seen before. The app tracks your verses, pages, time and hasanat gained as well. I've tried it too. Take your Quran reading from inconsistent to finishing it twice a year with the meaning. Check out the 7 day free trial. Download it on the App Store now. Search Quranly. السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته بسم الله والحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على عبد الله ورسوله محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين My brothers and sisters before you were born Allah Almighty has already written certain things about you and I the exact time of birth the exact time of death whether or not we will be fortunate and at the same time the sustenance that will be ours the tests and the major challenges so the major aspects of your lives and mine were written prior to your birth now the tests that you were going to have are going to have shall have are also determined by Allah almighty ما اصاب من مصيبه في الارض ولا في انفسكم الا في كتاب من قبل ان نبراها ان ذلك على الله يسير any calamity difficulty hardship or test that has come in your direction or anything that is on earth of a similar nature meaning difficulties hardships calamities except that it has been written by Allah almighty in a book from a long time back so it is written by Allah predestined you need to know your tests you will go through them you have to go through them one by one it is impossible for anyone on earth to have it smooth sailing totally Some people have an easier life than others but they have a different type of a problem. You have someone who doesn't have wealth at all but he has good health. You have someone who has good health for example but maybe they don't have children. Or you might have someone who has children but they are not good and they are a source of his or her stress and sadness. Sometimes you have a person who is relatively healthy and wealthy for example but they suffer because of an earthquake or a loss in business something of things that they didn't imagine all this was planned and predestined by allah it's up to you to realize you cannot have it smooth sailing there is not a soul on earth who has everything because you came on to this earth in order to be tested your examination paper was already written by allah before you were born so what do you do Well what you do is you have to look at the examination question you can't skip it because you might fail you don't know the next questions that are going to come you have to ask yourself how did my teacher teach me to go through this question what answer should i put here what should i do who's your teacher nabi muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam where did he get the answers from allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so anything that happens in your life ask yourself how did allah teach me to go through this and follow it blindly subhanallah follow it because that is success you follow what allah says why do we pray five times a day why does allah speak so much in the quran about patience patience sabr why does allah say when you're a pious person when you're closer to allah or when allah loves you he's going to make you go through and endure more patience than others because allah knows he's your maker he wants you to have a high status when you answer an examination question correctly no matter how tough it was you are the champion right when you go through an exam paper at school for example you learnt a lot and then you find it's really really tough because your level is very high the a stream and the b stream are not the same 
You have to go through challenges and each one will go through a different challenge. But Allah Almighty is the examiner. He says, we have sent you onto earth to test you. You will be tested. You shall be tested like those before you in order to distinguish who is truthful in their faith and who is not. We've heard that verse so many times of Surah Al-Ankabut. So remember my brothers, my sisters, don't be upset because you have a test. Be happy. Thank Allah. Oh Allah, you put a test in my life. This one, I can manage it by your help. Subhanallah. Because if you don't want one of the tests, Allah says, okay, we're going to give you another one. That one might be more difficult. Imagine, it might be more difficult. So take it in your stride. Thank Allah. Look at your challenge. What did I just suffer today? For example, a huge loss in business. That was written by Allah predestined. How does the same Allah teach me to go through it? How does, what does he say? He says, bear patience and pray a lot. Ya ayyuhalladheena amanu sta'inu bis sabri wa salah. Inna allaha ma'a sabirin. Oh, you who believe, seek assistance through your difficulties, hardships, whatever it may be. By engaging in patience, forbearance, endurance, and at the same time, prayer. Pray a lot. Come close to Allah. This is nothing. This worldly life, you came on here with zero. You were nude. You were naked when you were born. So whatever you have right now is plus. Do you see what we mean? If someone were to ask you, do you have more now or the day you were born? You have to say now, no matter what you have, even if you've got very little, because you know what? When you are being buried, you will be buried with more than what you actually brought onto the earth because you have two pieces of cloth. Yet when you were born, there wasn't even two pieces of cloth. So it's Allah's plan to show you, man, you came onto the earth. We provided for you, didn't we? We may not have given you the luxuries you wanted because it was part of our test. Like I said, some people come with different tests. Allah says, لا يكلف الله نفسا إلا وسعها. Allah does not burden anyone with more than he or she can actually shoulder. If Allah sent a challenge in your direction, He knows you can cope. He knows you can manage. He knows you will manage. So don't complain to anyone besides Allah. Allahumma inni ashku ilayka dha'fa quwwati wa qillata hilati. The Prophet, peace be upon him, used to say, Oh Allah, I am complaining to you regarding my own weakness. Yet he was the strongest. Oh Allah, I am complaining to you regarding my inability. Yet he was the most able from all of us. Subhanallah. So what about you and I? We will go through hardship. We may go through a health problem for a year, two years. Take it in your stride. Do not swear Allah. Do not let it make you angry and bitter. Become a good person. Bear it with patience. And thank Allah if your problem makes you a better person. It's a gift from Allah. And if your difficulty makes you bitter and ugly and makes you drift away from Allah, it is perhaps a punishment from Allah. No one on earth will have what they want. Everyone has a unique set of examination questions set by none other than Allah who made you and I. You will not have two days the same. Days will come with challenges. Imagine people fought the best of creation. Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam by preparing armies to go and fight him. What did he say? With the help of Allah, we will not fail. People planned to kill him so many times. What did he do? There were days when he had very little in terms of material wealth, yet Allah could have given him everything. What did he say? What did his family say? They were patient. They looked at what Allah said and the way Allah has chosen to solve this particular, this particular problem. And that is the answer. That is the answer. So you don't have an answer from your pocket or mine. Sometimes we have a challenge and we think we want to solve it our own way. No, it came in your direction. What does Allah say about this? What does the messenger say about it? That's what makes you a Muslim and a mu'min. If you do not want what Allah and his messenger have said in terms of solution to your issues, your matters, your problems, then you can expect nothing but failure and regret because Allah is your Lord and mine. We say we are believers, but wallahi, we have a lot to look into in order to confirm are we true 
or are we just paying lip service? That is why Allah says, وَلَقَدْ فَتَنَّ الَّذِينَ مِن قَبْلِهِمْ فَلَيَعْلَمَنَّ اللَّهُ الَّذِينَ صَدَقُوا وَلَيَعْلَمَنَّ الْكَاذِبِينَ We have tested all those before you as well in order to distinguish who is truthful and who, is, who are lying. Lying in what? In their claim to believe in Allah. Thank you so much for listening to the short message. I pray that it has increased you in a little bit of motivation and hope. And the same applies to all of us. Jazakumullah khair. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.